children have had a really disrupted and a, and, and a really difficult year. And part of our job as educators is, is to support them to ensure that, that when they return to school, they're in the right place to learn, but they're also feel safe, feeling safe. As we, as we learned in, in June and July that, that schools were likely to open um, their doors to all pupils in September, that was the point where we started to plan for a recovery curriculum. Um, and so um, teachers, staff in school met regularly throughout that period to look at what, what we would deliver to ensure that the curriculum that we would deliver in September would meet the needs of the children. And our curriculum here at Appleby is something we're very proud of. We feel that as a rule it's generally quite innovative and we provide children with experiences that we feel will push their boundaries, will broaden their horizons um, and that's been affected massively by um, COVID-19. And so we've looked at what we would expect the needs of children would be when they came back. We've spent the early part of this term assessing and identifying those needs so that we've got a really good understanding of where our children are both academically but also in terms of their mental and, and emotional well-being too. And so we've, we've a, a, a taken a tiered approach to our recovery curriculum. We've put quality teaching first um, and we've put that alongside um, rapid um, and targeted intervention where children have gaps in their learning but underpinning that we have a foundation um, of ensuring that children are happy and healthy emotionally um, and are secure and confident because if that's not how they're working then no matter how much intervention we put into their academic catch-up it's not going to be sustainable um, and it's not going to work as well as we want it to. In terms of children's resilience, in terms of their perseverance, and in terms of their, their ability to focus for a sustained period of time, that's clearly something that an extended period of, abs a period of absence from school has had an impact on. And so being able to work with the Outward Bound to tailor that project and to tailor the work to meet the needs of the children means that the activities that we're watching children do today are exactly the sort of activities that, that, that we've deliberately worked together to, to create, to target those specific needs. Above all, the children have loved what they've done with the Outward Bound. Their activities have been, have been fun and exciting. I've had umpteen parents stop me in the playground in the morning to thank us for the, the, for the work that we're doing with yourselves um, and to thank us for, for having this creative approach um, and I think one of the things that, that was anticipated by parents would be that we would close our doors, that we'd become insular and the way to keep safe would be to shut out the world. And it's our view here at Appleby Primary School that actually we need to do exactly the opposite of that. And we need to make use of um, the skills and the support within our community um, to, to help support the children in school. And the impact for the children is absolutely evident. Their confidence has built over the course of this term um, in terms of their work in the classroom. Teachers have reported that their ability to, to solve problems, their ability to not give up has become evidentially better week on week after they've been working with the Outward Bound. And we can only, we can only accredit that to the work that they've been doing in the outdoors. Whilst, whilst we, we had this idea when we set out on this project, it's been massively rewarding over the last two or three weeks when we've been starting to really drill down into the impacts of it for us to say, actually, playing sharky sharky on our school field has had a significant impact on math results and has had a significant impact on the academic progress of the children, but also just in the joy and fun that they've had. It's been brilliant for them to talk about um, how much they've enjoyed it. We've just shared with them that we're going to be continuing right up until Easter at the very earliest we're going to, we'll, we'll continue till. And I hope we'll be able to continue right until the end of the school year. Um, and, and fingers crossed, um, hopefully as, as restrictions lift and, and the world becomes a safer place, that will involve us getting out again. Mm -hmm.